In this paper, we present a novel rendering method for large point sets of densely sampled surfaces using object space, point blending, and splatting. The animation shows individual point samples of a digitally scanned model and the final smoothly blended and textured result of our point rendering system. In contrast to previous approaches, we achieve high quality rendering results while at the same time maintaining interactive rendering speeds of very large models. Our contributions include the concept of a transformation invariant homogeneous covariance matrix, a new class of object space point blending functions, and a hardware accelerated point splatting pipeline. The level of detail data structure used in our approach is a data driven space partitioning hierarchy. The animation shows the recursive point octree subdivision of an example point set. In an offline pre process, we generate a point octree with the point locations and elliptical splat sizes of the level of detail nodes by using our homogeneous covariance matrix method. In this work, we developed the concept of a transformation invariant homogeneous covariance matrix. This allows us to express the covariance of any point set in an arbitrary local coordinate system and to merge point sets by simple addition of the corresponding homogeneous covariance matrices. In particular, it efficiently supports the calculation of the spatial extent of point samples as oriented elliptical bounding disks called splats. As illustrated in the video, the calculation of the bounding ellipses is performed bottom-up during the construction of the point octree hierarchy during the pre-process. We also propose novel blending kernels that, in contrast to simple Gaussian functions, allow for more control over the shape of the kernel and thus over the achievable blending of overlapping splats. In the video, we show an animation of the novel blending kernel for varying parameters. In our rendering system, a point sample is modeled by an oriented and scaled triangle in 3D space, as shown in the animation. We achieve the elliptical splat shape by using an alpha mask texture mapped onto the triangle. In fact, the alpha mask is modulated using the blending kernel to achieve smooth interpolation between overlapping splats in object space, but their weights do not necessarily sum up to one for each pixel. Correct blending is finally achieved through a normalization by the alpha channel of the rendered image in a post process. The animation shows a flyby of a model with 300,000 samples, rendering it first as OpenGL point primitives, then as normalized blended splats. It also shows the amount of overlap between splats in pseudocolors, ranging from blue for one splat only, to green for eight, and red for 16 or more splats per pixel. At rendering time, the level of detail hierarchy is traversed for each frame and the selected point samples are processed by the splat rendering pipeline. 